Welcome, my friend, to the Director's Treatment Masterclass course, where I am going to teach you the most important skill that you can master as a filmmaker, and that is selling your ideas to clients via director treatments. Now, if we haven't met before, my name is Robin Piret, and I have over a decade of experience creating treatments um, and directing projects such as documentaries for some of the world's biggest DJs, commercials for brands such as Adidas and Absolute Vodka, and music videos for artists like Hardwell and Snoop Dogg. Now, to be honest with you, I suck big time for many years when it comes to creating director treatments and selling my creative vision and ideas. So that's why I decided to create this course, combine all my hard learned lessons so you won't have to go through the same struggles as I did. So I have a lot to cover. I will go through each chapter step by step, click by click and teach you how you too can create pitch winning treatments. Without further ado, let's dive into my computer and uh, into the first chapter of this course. We are in my computer in the first chapter the introduction and here is a quick overview of what i'm about to cover so first i will talk about what actually is a treatment why treatments matter why why is this uh, as aspect of the job so important uh, why i have created this course a course overview who this course is for my goal with this course some important things to remember and a quick summary at the end now if you want to get access to all the secret stuff that i don't share anywhere else make sure to sign up to my newsletter robinpiret.com newsletter because here is where i share all the secret stuff quick warning though this is the most important video of the entire course at this stage so watch it from beginning to end without skipping any parts and a little pro tip if you want to self save yourself some time, watch it in double speed. So first off, what is a treatment? So to understand what a treatment actually is, yeah, let's let's metaphorically change to a, a different a different world, a different a different job. Let's say you have saved enough money to build your dream house, then you most likely will not design it yourself. So you go to an architect and give them all your your wish, your wish list and your dreams and your hopes and what each uh, room has to do for you. Um, and uh, the architect will like filter all your input and then present you with a design of what the final result could look like. And this is exactly the same for a, um, uh, for, for a film job. So an artist, for example, uh, wants to create a music video and then they will go to a visual architect, with, which is a director, and they will gather all the input and then combine it into a design for what the music video could look like according to them. And this is pitched via a treatment. So it's like a visual architect design, uh, but then in a, in a movie sense. So um, it, yeah, in, in short, a treatment is a digital document created by film directors to share their creative vision and ideas for a movie, commercial, or music video with clients to give a better visual understanding of the yet to be made project. Now, I also want to highlight that why it's so important to be good at creating treatments is because every little decision you make uh, has such a big impact on how the project is received. Just as if the architect has, uh, for example, decided that every room should be pink, the feeling of that room is completely different to when, when all the walls are white or all the walls are black. Um, and it, is, it works the same for filmmaking. So if you decide to create a pink uh, color palette, then it is perceived more as a... It, it, it comes with a different feeling compared to when you film everything very dark at night and rainy and you know the uh, and this all these little decisions influence how a audience perceives a project now for some reason treatments requests always ar uh, arrive last minute at unconvenient times and there is always a lot of time pressure involved to have them delivered to a client i don't know why it works like this but um yeah you always have to come up with cool ideas and, and, and present them in treatments very fast. So that's why I believe it, it, has, it is very important to become very good at creating treatments so you can actually be very fast and deliver on time because usually first in wins the job. Now, how this actually works, I'm going to break down a music video treatment process. So how this normally works is an artist will create a song, send it to their music label, and then the music label will create a brief, and a brief can be a phone call or a document or an email, and that says, well, this is the budget, the artist has to be included or not, this is the dates in which the artist is available for shooting, this is when the treatment has to be delivered, this is when the, um, the, the final music video has to be delivered, and they will send out um, that creative brief to freelance directors, or they send it out to production companies. You have to see production companies as 
So the architect can design a beautiful house, but they still need a contractor to bring the, their ID actually to life. And that is what a production company is. It is a film contractor and that can facilitate all the logistics and they will hire all the specialists that are required to bring the vision of the director to life. But there can be directors who exclusively work with, uh, with production companies. So in this case, for example, the music label will receive six uh, treatments and then we'll have a conversation with the artist and asked uh, and they will they will uh, align on which treatment best represents their vision for the song or for the music video and they will choose one director and that director will then be the music video director so all the other five directors have lost the pitch um, and one is the lucky winner now for a commercial treatment it is a bit more complicated uh, because there usually is a lot of more a lot more money involved and a lot more uh, decision making layers so with a commercial it usually starts with a brand who will develop a new product or service and then their marketing team will come up with an id for how to um, put this new product or service in the market then the marketing team will contact creative agencies and creative agencies will develop a campaign uh, to help the brand achieve the goal that they are looking for. So let's say the brand is a beer brand and they have just launched a new 0.0, .0 um, bottle in a funky color and they want to reach a new uh, Gen Z uh, audience. Then the creative agency will come up with an ID with a commercial and a social media campaign and TikTok campaigns and maybe do some branding on, on airplanes or train stations or buses. So everywhere this Generation Z is, uh, is going, they are confronted, confronted, conf confrontated with the advertisement uh, of the new beer bottle. So the marketing team will then select one of the campaign IDs from the creative agency. Creative agency will contact production companies. Production companies will contact directors. And in this case, four directors, usually it's around three, but it can be it can be more, it can be, I don't know, even 20 or something. And within the music industry, this is actually how it works. They just send out a ridiculous amount of treatment requests to directors. So it's very, very, very competitive. Um, within the commercial space, it's a lot more selective because there is a lot more money involved. So they, in this case, for example, they will probably work with somebody who has done beer commercials before because then the risk of uh, fucking it up is a lot less so anyways uh, four director treatments one director will be selected and that will be the commercial director for this beer commercial um, now why do treatments matter so much why is it so important to matter uh, master this aspect of the job because treatments help you to get more clients. In the filmmaking business, people present their ideas to clients using pitch decks or treatments. If well made, they can help the filmmaker persuade the clients to award them the project. So you have to see it as a um, as the the key to open the door. If you can create a pitch winning treatment and convince the client that this is the thing that they are looking for, then you will get the job. And uh, if you get more clients, you make more money and, you know, you, you build a sustainable career. So, yeah, you, getting good at treatments, you create more work. Getting better at creating winning treatments and winning more project pitches helps boost your portfolio, which in return will attract new clients who are uh, who like what you are creating. This cycle of adding projects and drawing in new clients helps build momentum, increasing your industry visibility and work opportunities. So, you have to see it as a flywheel or like a snowball you throw down the hill. Once it gets momentum, it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's how you have to see uh, this aspect of the job as well. So the treatment will get you the job, then you will create work, then this work will uh, attract new clients who like what you've done for the previous client. And then, you know, it becomes like a drop of water and you get the wrinkles and becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. So the treatment is the first step to getting the work um, and as a result improving your pitch treatments uh, can help make more money and build a sustainable career as a filmmaker by continuously attracting new clients and new projects so as i mentioned it is a flywheel get the thing rolling the thing will lead to the next thing and then etc 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 so why this course why this course um 
when I started creating treatments, I struggled for so long because there was little to no information online and the stuff that was to be found online was so vague. It was like, yeah, create an original approach or an original idea. It was like, yeah, but you know, how, how original is enough original? Uh, and uh, how many slides does it need to include? How many this? How many that? How many images? Where do I pull my images from? Where do I find the best images? Uh, and, you know, I, I, I just for once and for all want to... St- you know, and the vague resources. Uh, so creating winning treatments is the key to a successful film career. But funny enough, nobody gets taught how to do that and everyone relies on vague resources. I want to change that once and for all. So I hope that this course will be like the go-to source for people when they want to uh, win the pitch and create a pitch winning director's treatment. So skip the rest and I hope this will be like the thing. So the end of not knowing, I've created dozens of treatments without knowing what I was doing, wasting a lot of time and energy, and I want to avoid, um, I want you to avoid the same frustration as I experienced. Therefore, I created what I once needed, a simple guide to creating winning treatments. Nothing to add here. <laughs> so I, I want to do, I do want to highlight that I am no filmmaking guru. I'm by no means a filmmaking guru. guru. I have no Emmys or Oscars on the shelf. Um, so you don't have to agree with everything that I'm about to share with you. But if you can take away one simple thing from this course to help you win your next pitch, I consider this masterclass is a success. Because if you can win the next pitch with a nugget of knowledge goal that is hidden somewhere within the course that I'm about to share with you, uh, and that will get you the first job, then it's highly likely that you can get the ball rolling and... Uh, everything like originated from something that will be hidden within uh, within this course for you but um yeah you don't have to agree with everything that i'm i'm about to share with you uh i experienced myself when i like r- really dove into the the thing of sales and selling ideas to people that i even found some resistance from my ego like no, this is not how it works. I'm a filmmaker. I don't. I don't have to do this stuff. But uh, um, yeah, we'll dive later into 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 this. But um, yeah, just be open to everything that I'm about to share. You don't have to. You don't have to agree with everything. And um, I just hope that there's one thing in there, one thing in this entire course that will help you get to the next level. And uh, then I see. Then I, then I've done. Then I have done my job right. I believe. So who is this course for? Aspiring filmmakers, film students, if you are just starting out in the film industry, this course offers a foundational guide to pitching and selling ideas. So even if you have never created the treatment before, even if you have never heard of a treatment before, or you have never pitched an idea before to a client, my friend, this is for you. Uh, this is also for directors, producers, creatives, photographers, and cinematographers. If you find it hard to land desirable projects because your pitches frequently fail to secure project approvals, this course is designed to refine your approach. As I mentioned before, this is the guide that I wish existed when I was struggling so hard to um, get my projects greenlit. And uh, so, yeah, even if you have, if you do have some experience, or uh, and you're just looking for a single tip or a, a tool or a resource or uh, whatever to refine your approach and uh, you know get more success so the flywheel gets rolling this is also for you and this is also for content creators marketing directors and brand strategists strategists for those who craft narratives for brands to uh, but struggle to get their ideas accepted this course provides you with the tools to develop pitches that resonate so even if you are working for a company within the marketing team within uh, the creative agency uh, I will share the foundational th- the, the foundational layer uh, of pitching ideas to your superiors, to the people who are in the decision-making uh, chairs. Um, and hopefully this will also help you get to the next level. So what is the goal of this course? The goal with this course, I want to help as many creatives as possible to bring their ideas to life without the struggles of not knowing the how. So as I mentioned before, I struggled for so long because I had no idea what I was doing. I couldn't find what I was doing, uh, how to do it, uh, because there were so many vague resources or no resources. And um, yeah, I want to end that once and for all. 
and uh, so so you have a foundational approach or a, stra- a strategy or a framework that you always can fall back on. So I'm, I'm, I'll share a success formula. Pitching shouldn't be about how hard you try, but the strategy that you use. The better the strategy you follow, the higher your chances of winning the pitch. To help you succeed, I will provide you with a repeatable and scalable formula to win new business based on the foundation of pitching ideas. Course overview. The basics. So... In the first part of this course, I'm going to talk about the basics of the film a film industry, the basics of uh, of pitching ideas. So the first chapter, introduction, the next one will be film business basics. So how, how does the film industry actually work? How does selling ideas to clients work? Uh, and how does pitching fundamentally work? And then I'm going to share the winning formula. So what is the uh, approach that you need to pitch ideas the right way and what is the formula for winning a pitch because there is a structured formula that you can use to win every pitch then i'm going to talk about creating treatments so how do you actually once you understand the formula once you understand the basics the theory behind it how do you actually write and design a document and more important how not to design one because (laughs) i have created so many so many mistakes and i've seen others struggle with this as well uh, and uh, make big mistakes uh, and as a result clients will never contact you again and you will hear nothing regarding your your, your treatment which is a heartbreaking experience uh, i'm also going to dive into submitting a pitch and um, you know there are a few tactics and and uh, sales techniques that you can use uh, to make sure that people actually reply to your treatment and when you submit one And as a bonus, I'm going to talk about winning without pitching. So how do you actually get into a position whereby pitching is no longer necessary and clients will award you the the project no matter what. Then some uh, important things to remember. So every video comes with additional resources, which I have listed below. Also in this video, in the description, this can be documents, software, templates, etc. So if I talk about something... um, specific or uh, you want to get access to resources check the link in the descriptions uh, the links in the description and you'll find everything you need uh, then once again the ideas and this course are easy to understand but hard to put into practice but if you can take away one simple thing from this course that will help you land your next projects project this will be worth it for you and um, finally it is all up to you The outcome depends entirely on you. I will equip you with all the knowledge and resources I can provide, but your success depends on your willingness to take action. This course will not take away the the hard work, but will provide you with a structured framework that will take away some of the chaos, stress, and anxiety when creating treatments. So, uh, yeah, I I cannot create the treatments for you. I can provide you with templates uh, to help you you know, get get the process started, but uh, you will have to do the hard work yourself. You know, I can show you the door, but you will have to walk through it. Um, so yeah, let's summarize this episode, this first one. So the key treatments are digital documents used by filmmakers to pitch their creative vision and ideas to a client. Treatments are the key to getting the work. So getting better at creating treatments is the key to building a successful career master this aspect of the job and you'll never run out of work again get the flywheel rolling master the first step and the rest will follow so what i'm about to share with you will be a universal approach so the strategies i'm about to teach you will help you win the pitch regardless of the software you use the country you're in or whether you're a complete beginner or an experienced filmmaker as long as you put in the work so no matter if you use photoshop for your treatments keynote powerpoint it doesn't really matter it's all details what you need to learn is the foundational layer that will allow you to pitch an idea and you know secure the deal even without the treatment um and the first step in this process is to forget everything so my goal is to help you succeed and the first step is to forget everything you thought you knew about pitching and creating treatments what i'm about to tell you will be a mental reframing to cleanse the canvas can help you transform your passion into a thriving creative business so forget all the vague resources online forget what they are saying about how to approach it 
I'm going to teach you the foundational principles of pitching ideas and 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 sales in the in the film business and um, let's start from scratch. So I wanted to finish this uh, first episode with a beautiful quote that sometimes a life is about risking everything for a dream no one can see but you. And I think pitching sort of works the same is you have an idea in your mind and the goal is to translate those ideas into uh, into words and visuals so that everybody else can onboard with your vision and uh, you can all start creating a beautiful film project uh, and I can assure you that there is no crazier feeling in the world than to be on a film set and all those people are there to help you as a director bring the ideas that you have in your mind to life and uh, i've had it so many times that you know i just des- i had described a beautiful scene or a beautiful shot and use beautiful references and then all these people helped me bring that image to life and it's just it is goosebumps and i hope that you will be able to experience that yourself as well many more times than you are used to or you know if you are starting then i hope that you'll be able to get into that position as soon as possible by mastering this uh, this aspect of the job of, of the job so uh, that's it for now uh, i hope you have learned something by now and uh, yeah i hope to see you in the next one see you there